I thought you knew what you were doing. I thought Dumbledore would have told you something worthwhile. I thought you had a plan. I told you everything Dumbledore told me. And in case you haven't noticed, we have found a Horcrux already. Yeah, and we're about as close to getting rid of it as we are to finding the rest of them, aren't we? Please. Everybody knows the stars of the Harry Potter series. In this case, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. We had a viewer who wanted us to ask which of the actors is most like the character that they play. And I put that to each one of them. They all chose the same person. Your parents are dead. She'll hate me saying it, but I think it, it is Emma, I think. Yeah. She's, um, yeah, I think just academically speaking, I think she kind of excels in, in that, that field and yeah that's that's kind of and she's always kind of reading and stuff and it's yeah I'd say I'd say <laughs> I'd say <laughs> I think that would be fair I accept that that's fine why do you think you are we both have the same approach to life I think mm -hmm. we're both we have this very strong work ethic we're both very determined. Academic. Um, academic, analytical, um, with thinkers, um, and a little bit bossy, loyal. <laughs> you did say we that. have good qualities as well for us. I say an Emma. <laughs> I'm, I, yeah, I think I think that's that's probably the most accurate. I think me and Rupert are, are too uh, are naturally kind of too slothful to be like our characters in <laughs> in the film um so i think em emma's she's um certainly got the the more um hermione like intellect i think your childhood is over the last day of your childhood somebody snapped a shot of us standing together the day before your world premieres harry potter and i was looking at that picture and thinking that's the last day daniel had a normal childhood if a normal childhood is being stimulated excited healthy and surrounded by very level-headed people. I would say there's a, there is a lot less bullying on a film set than there is at a, your average school. That's a very good point, <laughs> and that's become impossible, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, exactly. And, and, and so I think, you know, it's, um, it's, it, I was very fortunate in where I grew up. It was a very different, upper, uh, you know, growing up experience, but it was not a negative one. I'm Patrick Stoner. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see you, sure. I'll see you next year. I believe you're familiar with this particular brew. No. Absolutely not. Told you you'd take it well. Uh, no, if you think I'm going to let everyone risk their lives for me... I, I've never done that before, have I? Flicks with Patrick Stoner explores the craft of filmmaking that has aired on public television stations and enhances our culture in this community and around the country.